Um, you had an added pressure when you were doing this movie, uh, directing your idol. Yes. That wasn't a pre. That's something I've, I don't know about directing, but I wanted to work with Richard for so long. Richard Pryor, who's in the movie with. And it was uh, It was just weird to be direct directing him because I just to. Uh, just to have wanted to work with someone to be working with him, you know, was mm -hmm. bugging me out. And to look at him and and uh, he's brilliant in my movie. He's brilliant, in it. funniest, and coolest. He plays a character named Sugar Ray. And just the coolest. Back like remember the like stuff like Lady Sings the Blues, but Rich was like, he's doing that kind of cool. Just he's bad, man. Rich yeah. is laying it out. Y'all gonna be real happy with the movie. Um, kind of a um, a sneak preview of what it's all about. Tell the people exactly what Harlem Nights. Is. Um, me and Richard Pryor play two guys that own an after-hours club in Harlem, and uh, the mafia comes and tries to take our club over, and uh, that's basically what the movie's about. And I kill Arsenio. <laughs> <laughs> He's not for real. <laughs> you have to see the movie. He's not really dead at the movie. Go see it. <laughs> yeah. Be out in November. November. Good. That's good. Um, directing yourself. I meant to ask you about that. How is that? It's strange, and I won't know how it came out till the movie. See, I can't sit here and go, well, you know, and, and talk about it till the movie comes out because I don't want to look stupid if it didn't, if I ain't do it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I, if I, if when the movie comes out, if it looks good, then I can come back and say, well, directing myself was like this. <laughs> but now I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. You said in People Magazine it's kind of a no lose situation. Yeah, because if you write and produce and direct and star, and the movie don't work, they'll say. Oh, he took on too much. <laughs> <laughs> and, if it, and if it works, they go, oh, he's something else. <laughs> There's yeah. no way you can lose. Did you hear the screaming when you walked out? You heard all that screaming yeah. all that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Y'all scream for everybody. They <laughs> sure do. No, they don't. They'll scream for everybody. They scream for everybody. I've seen some people walk out and they give them one of these. <laughs> you know, so they don't scream for everybody. They're screaming. That's it. Uh, no. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you see yourself as sexy? No, because I see me in the morning <laughs> with my hair like this and some green stuff in my eyes. <laughs> that you want to scream, come there in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> they, they scream. I don't know what the people scream. I don't know what it is. People screaming over entertainers. The people seeing wah and scream. I think what it is, it's, it's like barking a symbol of approval. The louder they scream, the more they like you. I hear women screaming. <laughs> what are you saying, why is that? Why are they screaming? I saw, I love Spike Lee. Mm -hmm. I seen Spike come on the show last week, and women said, what? And Spike looks like a cricket. <laughs> hey, he's, not... he's a brilliant filmmaker. His movies are brilliant. He's he's hysterical. He's he's wonderful on camera. But Spike is not fine. He goes, ah! he looks like a cricket. And now Spike is somewhere thinking, well, I'm fine. <laughs> So I know when I was in when I was in junior high school, they used to call me Big Nose Ed. <laughs> and my nose is still big, so when I hear this, wah! It's some women going, oh, Big Nose Ed. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, when I hear them screaming, I know that I'm Big Nose Ed. <laughs> you know what my nickname was when I was in grammar school? What? <laughs> I shouldn't even say them. You know what my nickname was? And I, it used to hurt because I was one of them kids. It was, my nickname was Peas. Because my I had what that hair that you comb it and your hair says, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> and I'd be combing it for hours. Just combing. And you really comb it and your hair just say, I'm not budging. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd comb it and I'd go to school and I'd say, ha, look at Pete. <laughs> it was this guy named Ronnie Marion who used to sit across from me and go, ping. 
swing and act like the peas was popping out, <laughs> hitting him in his eyes and stuff. And the girls would fight. They say, that's why peas is your boyfriend. My boyfriend ain't no peas. And fight and break out. <laughs> and then I come out and sit down and still peasy with a big nose. And, ah! Yeah. I know I'm peas and Mr. Big Nose. I know that. So it don't mean yeah. it. You know, it just, I guess it's show business. They don't I, show. I talked to, uh, I talked to a gentleman with you, uh, Mark Corey. Yes. Who went to high school with you, and he says you always knew that you would be a star. Now, Mark's known you forever. I mean, he, he said you used to run to school. You didn't even need a hall pass. They would catch you and want to tell you a joke. They, they would stop me in the hallway and the teachers would tell me jokes. Hey, Eddie, I got one for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny till I got left back. <laughs> they said, ah, by the way, Ed, here's your report card. <laughs> we'll see you again next year. <laughs> but you always knew that this is where you wanted to be? This is what I you knew wanted. I wanted to be in show business. Yeah. And I just happened to luck out and things happened. I think you know, you know, you, if you, you know what you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. deep down inside, I think everybody does, and a lot of people just don't go after it, mm -hmm. you know, Cause, and like most people start out, they say, I want to be a this, but I'm going to get that to make sure I have something to fall back on, yeah. and what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure, because you're going, there's a possibility that I'm going to fall back, and when you put that out there, then you fall back, but if you just say, hey, this is what I want to do, and you go do it, you usually get your stuff the way you want it, man, that's what, uh, um, yeah. I, I don't even know if this is true, because you know how Uncle Ray lies, okay? Un uncle Ray is not my uncle, it's his uncle, but <laughs> You know how like my uncle, uncle lies. Yeah. <laughs> uncle Ray no. shaved off his beard, you see him? No, I didn't see him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uncle, oh. <laughs> uncle Ray told me that a Ooh, fortune teller went down my back. He came out with his beard off, I said, oh. <laughs> see, they don't know Uncle Ray, so they're like... <laughs> picture, uh, picture me, but a lot older. That's Uncle Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he said that, <laughs> he said, how much time do we have left? <laughs> oh, plenty? Do you have any other guests tonight? Um, it's, it's me and you and Uncle Ray. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Uncle Ray! Wait, 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 not Uncle Ray. <laughs> Please don't invite Uncle Ray out here. Uncle Ray! <laughs> Uncle Ray! I said it, it's me, you, and Uncle Ray. See? Uncle Ray. See? Uncle Ray. Now, see, that's what I'm gonna look like in 40 years. <laughs> Ain't that funny no more, is it? <laughs> now, <laughs> now, Uncle Ray mentioned something to me about a fortune teller or somebody who said someone from your family was going to be very famous. Somebody told my grandmother, mm -hmm. Uncle Ray's mother, my grandmother, that uh, somebody in the family was going to be famous. And what happened was Uncle, <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ray and my father and all of them went in the show business. <laughs> Somebody said, Uncle Randy was taking tap dance lessons. All of them singing. He can still tap, but nobody can. Can you still tap, Ray? Yeah. Yes, you can. Why don't you tap us in the commercial? Give me something, Chuck. We'll be right back. Uncle Ray taking us out. Come on. Give us the last dance.